Hey, good morning, y'all. How are you? Today is a sunny, bright, beautiful day, and I'm excited because you see this hair? My hair, I tell you, whew, I've been thinning my hair since COVID, and everybody's giving me advice on what to do, and so far, ain't none of it working. It has been so, my hair's just getting thinner and thinner and thinner, so everybody's telling me, do biotin. Well, I've done like three or four bottles of biotin. Do this, do this. I'm trying everything. I'm trying protein. I'm trying, uh, I'm going to collagen next. I'm trying everything. But as the, uh, I keep thinking as the humidity changes, maybe maybe it's getting a little bit fuller and thicker. You know, y'all know, I used to have this big bouffant hairdo. It's gone. And I'm just gonna have to blame COVID because uh, COVID came and my hair started falling out with hands full. And I've heard from so many of y'all that are dealing with the same thing. And it's crazy, um, but maybe I can correct it. One of my buddies, Lois Chastain, down in uh, the Rock Mart community said that she is doing a product that I think once you start it, you have to keep doing it. And I don't know if I wanna do that or not. I keep hoping that if I keep vitamining up and proteining up and doing all the stuff I'm doing, my hair's gonna come back like it used to be. I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, I like my big poofy hair. And it gave somebody on camera something to make fun of because they'd say, we can't get all your hair in the shot. And I said, well, just keep a trying. Just keep adjusting that camera. Today is a special day. Today is March the 3rd. On March the 3rd, a little boy named Nicholas Blake Martin was born. And let me tell you about Nicholas Blake Martin. Um, he probably saved me from uh, a deep, deep depression because he was nine years old when my husband of 25 years passed away. And Nick kind of became the, the man of the house, which was not good for a nine-year-old kid. He turned 10 not long after JS passed away. And he was the one who kind of said, Mom, you gotta quit crying every day. You gotta quit going to the cemetery every day. You've gotta, you gotta adjust. This is our life as we know normalcy now you gotta adjust. And at the same time, I started going to these amazing gospel concerts and Nick fell in love with gospel music and the inspirations. And he had an opportunity to travel and uh, he actually traveled some with the Primitive Quartet with um, wonderful, wonderful Norman taught Nick to play the mandolin. And um, what a blessed life he has had. There have been some ups and some downs. This is one of my favorite photos ever because we used to take this kid to Florida like some people go to lunch, we would go to Florida and we would take the kid and we would have so much fun. We took him to uh, actually to Huntsville, Alabama to the um, Space Center. We took him everywhere. We tried to give him a rounded life and he did have a rounded life because he and my husband spent many, many hours in a tractor and trailer and if you think that won't round out your life, big boys, that will round you out. He's eaten at some of the greatest truck stops in the world. But Nick was uh, a joy all of his life and uh, I have enjoyed most of his life. There have been times that I was ready to snatch him ball headed, but such is life with your kids. And um, boy, what, what a gift he has been to be the dad of Riker John Martin. And um, I, I, love, I love Riker just as much as I love Nick. But there's just something about those that little fella um, won my heart a long, long time ago. And we've got some pictures now of Nick as an adult. He looks very different than he did then because then he was just a sweet little innocent boy. Now he doesn't have a beard anymore. And it's very, very strange to me because he always had this beard. I never liked that beard. But he always said the beard made him look older because he looked kind of like a young youngster without the beard. Now he doesn't have a beard and he, he likes it without it. So it's strange. We go through phases, we go through things. But happy, happy birthday to Nicholas Blake Martin. Um, I know this is a tough time in life. Everybody's going through something and um, we're gonna all get through whatever we're facing. 
And I think that's one of life's lessons. Nick taught me that just because things look really, really bad, they're gonna be okay, Mom, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right, we're gonna be okay. And he kept telling me that, and I kept saying, I don't know how, I don't know how, and then we were, so, so life is what it is. We're gonna share the pictures of Nick as an adult as soon as we can get them to pull up because I want you to show that real men wear pink. And at the baby um, event, when we were doing the, uh, what do you call it when you're trying to figure out what baby you're having, black or where you're having the blue or the pink, and Nick wore pink, so real men wear pink. And it was the gender reveal. And it was so funny because Catherine had on blue and Nick had on pink. And of course we had a blue baby boy, Riker John Martin. And um, love guys in pink. They, they look fantastic. And Nick has always worn pink shirts. So that was pretty cool. And Catherine said, who are you going to wear pink today? And of course he did because that's what you do. But um, what a blessing. What a blessing. And so happy, happy birthday, Nick. I hope you have a good day. He's working hard and um, trying to... Keep, the, keep his ducks in a row. And uh, sometimes it's hard to keep your ducks in a row, but you do the best you can. And uh, he's busy, busy, busy. And if you need somebody to do a little bit of handiwork, he, he loves doing that. He loves seeing the finished product. Um, and that is one of the cool things. And I keep asking him, son, where did you learn to do that? He said, I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of looked at this, looked at this. and. He's building things, and he's doing this, and he's doing plumbing, and I'm like, where did you learn all this stuff? I don't know. Well, Jody taught me a lot, but then I learned from so-and-so and so-and-so. So, so it's good to be around people who can teach you, and, and you do learn from them. And so to everybody who ever influenced Nick, thank you so very, very much. Um, thank you for being there as we traveled that road together, because he was just a kid. And all of a sudden, we were left alone. So um, thank you for being part of our lives. Okay, today, um, I woke up this morning to the sound of sirens and fire trucks and all kinds of noise, and I didn't know what in the world was going on. I couldn't tell which direction it went. But as I came to work this morning, I saw that somebody on Jordan Road's home was terribly damaged from fire. And that is one of those things. This, right now, they say when you're changing your time, when it goes back, spring forward, fall backward, that's the time to change your alarms, your smoke detectors, that's the time to check up because I hope that these people had a smoke detector. They must have because the fire department must have gotten there pretty quickly. But we're gonna show you the damage. This house is on Jordan Road and it's actually a, a double wide mobile home that's been um, a porch added on to it. And it's, a, it's a really pretty setting, beautiful place. And I just felt so bad as I went by this morning, the people were standing out there in the yard. And what do you do when everything you have is in that house and the house was on fire? I don't know what the damage was, but I know that they need our prayers. And so please, if you would pray for this family, when you wake up in the early morning, you just hope that pets and people and everybody got out safely. And that's what matters because everything else can be replaced. And um, it, is, it is very important to have that smoke alarm, that smoke detector, and to pay attention to, does something smell weird? Does something, you know, do you smell some wiring burning? So Tim, can we pull that picture up? Okay, it's in your email, okay. Okay, well, we'll pull it up in just a minute. We're gonna take a commercial break, and while we do, I'm gonna resend it to him, and we will share this with you because I do wanna ask y'all to pray for them. And today, Miss Selena has a, a mini doctor's appointment, as she called it, at 11.30 this morning, and I wanna remind you, you can go by the Robin's Nest, or you can go by Deb's Bakery, and you can pick up some of the CDs and pick up all four of them if you want to. We still have four. There were five to begin with, but we've sold out of one of them. So again, this is our way to support Selena Hales in her battle to beat cancer. Yes, we're gonna say that word, beat cancer. Let's, let's get behind her and let's get this done. So there you go. All right, we're gonna take a commercial break and when we come back, we're gonna share a little bit of a visit with Paul Kiker because Paul Kiker comes to visit with us once a month and um, in today's economy, the interest rate is, is going up, and I know that it's costing a lot more today to buy a house than it did a month ago. 
and that scares me because we just listed a property over in um, at the it's at the Dawson Cherokee line but it's in Cherokee County so it's in the Creekland Creekview Ball Ground School District that is like the coolest school district ever and when people call they say is it in Creekland Creekview yes it is yes it is yes it is so this property has almost eight acres. It has, um, well, it has actually seven and a half acres with it. And it is absolutely fantastic. It has one building on there that could be a really neat hut, hangout, uh, kids place. You could make it their tree topper. You could do whatever for the kids. And just a great place for them to ride their four wheelers and to have an animal. If you wanted to, you know, have some goats out there, have some chickens, it is picture perfect for this and um, absolutely looks great. It's been completely remodeled. It's a three bedroom, two bath and you will love it. So pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. All right. Uh, I'm going to sneeze. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was going to sneeze. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> so bored every St. Patrick's Day. But not in LJ, Georgia. Join us Saturday, March 12th from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. for the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. Bring your pets all dressed up for the pet parade and pet costume contest. We'll have vendors, raffles, a pet blessing, entertainment, and so much more. Saturday, March 12th, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. LJ, Georgia, the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. <laughs> Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Okay, guess what? We found the picture. So here we go. Um, again, this is the time of year to check your smoke detectors, to make sure you have them in the sleeping areas, in the kitchen areas, 
anywhere a laundry room is a great place to put a smoke detector because often dryers cause fires and it is all about saving yourself and your pets and getting out of a house once it does catch on fire. The, the really sad thing is if you um, are asleep and a heavy sleeper, my mom was a heavy sleeper and she actually caught our home on fire and if I hadn't woke up at 10 after 4 in the morning, the rest would have been history. I was in the fifth grade and I woke my brother and I up and we got out the bedroom windows and then we started screaming for neighbors who got mama out. But it was one of those things, she fell asleep smoking a cigarette and um, caught our home on fire. And it's one of those things, be cautious, be careful, but be aware and, and be make sure when you know spring forward and fall backwards, perfect time to change your batteries or to get a new smoke detector if you need to. So here we go. This is the home on Jordan Road that sadly, um, it took a lot of damage, but I'm not sure if they lost everything, but I know that these, this family probably needs our prayers. So please pray that they can get through this. If you have personal items in a home that burns, that's so hard to deal with because you have mementos and keepsakes and things that can never, never be replaced. So here we go. Got it? Oh no. Well, I don't know why we've got a problem with this, but we're going to resend it again. Let's see what we can do. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, we will resend and um, see if it goes again. You know, sometimes Wi-Fi acts crazy, and my phone lately has been really, really acting crazy, and I don't think it's my Wi-Fi. I think it's my phone is angry with me because it has 11,000 pictures in it, but don't tell it that I did that to it because I don't think you're supposed to slam it as full as I do mine, and I do slam it full. So I want to remind you of something else you need to do with these phones. You need to get out and you need to record your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, anybody who influenced you. Take the time to do that. Take the time to do that. Take the time to capture the moment. How I would love if I had captured my grandmother's precious, precious things that she told me and things that she taught me. And oh my gosh, would that not be amazing to have. So, so remember that. Did it come through that time? Okay, all right. We're gonna do, we're gonna improvise y'all. This is what you do. <laughs> We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. This is crazy, this is crazy, but we are trying, trying, trying. Okay, all right, we're gonna try it one more time. And then here we go. All right, I did that. But I didn't email it, I texted it. Okay, all right, there we go. We're gonna try one more time. And again, this is a family in the Ball Ground community that live on Jordan Road. And when I woke up this early, early morning and heard all the alarms, all the fire trucks, all this and that, and it was like they came in, in sections. There'd be some alarms and, and sirens and then more. And I was like, oh my gosh, it must be really, really bad. A fire is really, really bad. But the good news is I haven't heard of any injuries in this fire. And I hope that that um, still remains true because things can be replaced, but lives cannot. So it is, um, it is one of those things, it, it makes us aware and it makes us know how important it is to check your smoke detectors, check your alarms, clean your lint filter out of your dryer. And um, everybody says there's a commercial that shows you if you go down into that ductwork that comes out of your dryer, it's amazing what gets stuck in there. I don't know what you do about that because if you dry your clothes, you get lint. That's just part of it, but that's one of those fires. And one of the other fires that they say is really happens all the time is a dishwasher if something plastic falls down and gets on the heating element. Now, I don't know anybody who's ever lost their home like that, but if you watch fire protection and fire prevention, that's one of the things that they say is dangerous. A dishwasher, a dryer, or um, something else that they said was really, oh, extension cords. Those were the three pluses that you just don't mess with. So, did we get it now? Yay! Okay, this is the home. Um, it is in a beautiful, beautiful setting in ball ground on Jordan Road, and I hope that the folks were able to salvage their personal belongings. I hope that everything didn't get damaged. It just, uh, it, it looks like it started in a very strange place. If the front of it burned up and then the 
interior, it's strange looking. But, but anyway, pray for these folks. Hope that they will be um, recovering soon from whatever they have to do to repair or replace their home. And um, one of those things, it just happens. And I know when mama, when our house caught on fire, it was 10 after four in the morning. So we were very lucky that we got out. And that's, that's what's important. Keep your smoke detectors, new batteries in them. Okay, it's time to visit with Paul Kiker. I love Paul Kiker. He's been with me for 16 years, y'all. You think about that. He has been, and I get tickled because I, I have the ability to watch the old, old programs with him because I have them all. And it's amazing how he has grown up and aged. He was a little boy when he started coming here. And now he's a full grown man. So we're going to share a little bit of Paul's wisdom, Paul's wise advice and smart advice. And Paul has always said that inflation is going to get us. Well, inflation is doing a lot of damage at the fuel pumps, at the grocery store. And I think it being an election year, maybe we can make a change and maybe we can stop some things from happening. When I look at fuel at 360 a gallon, it almost made me throw up. So, um, you know, we have the ability to work on things and change some of them. And I think we need to do that. So here we go. Let's see what Paul Kiker's got to tell us today. 